What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Late Great Game Reviews. I'm your host, Apollo, and this week we're going to be reviewing Journey. And it is definitely a journey worth taking. Developed by that game company, it came out in March 2012. I'm just playing it now, and I, I've heard great things, and I was not disappointed one bit. It is an incredible game. It is, it's steeped in ambiguity. You start the game as this cloaked figure. Uh, you're put into a, a de barren desert littered with things that look like, that look like uh, tombstones. You're not sure if they are or not, but you... It, it, it's an incredibly hard game to describe as a reviewer because I don't want to spoil anything, but at the same time even if I, I don't even know if I could if I wanted to. It's, it's almost like the Matrix. You have to, you can't, you you can't be told what it is. You have to see it, to, right? Uh, you have to experience it. But I'll do the best I can. It's the environments are mesmerizing. I mean, you you got sand and snow and and it and it's it's like water. It flows and you can use you can use those if you hit the current at the it's. The sand has a current, so if you hit it at a specific point, you can actually surf across it. And another cool thing that I didn't even realize was ha was happening until the credits rolled is that other players, online players, are actually coming into your game without you even realizing it and helping you out. There's absolutely zero dialogue in the game. There is you communicating by chimes of music. Um... And speaking of the music, the score is absolutely spellbinding. It's incredible. It's an or just uh, a grand orchestral score. Um, that and the basic story is, uh, you know, you come in, you're in this desert. You don't know who you are, what you are necessarily. Certainly not where you are, or necessarily anything about what you're doing, except this, that there's this sort of ominous almost foreboding mountain in the distance and you need to get to it now it may not sound like you would be compelled to do it but trust me the game compels you to do it simply through environment through the fantastical creatures that you come across these not to mention these huge you know sort of intimidating behemoths that are trying behemoths that are trying to stop you from getting to this mountain um, and you're one the whole time I was wondering what what are these things why are they trying to stop me what don't they want me to see and all of these elements together really just make it it just compels you to keep going and it just makes it such a great experience it's a super short game two or three hours but it's so it's so short but so sweet you know um, again it's steeped in ambiguity so even as I'm explaining it after I explain it you might not understand it all and that's okay all that you need to know is that it is definitely worth playing um, yeah I mean there's there's a few other things that I wanted to say but essentially the you know the Every, it's it's such a the sand feels alive the world feels alive it, everything is just absolutely vibrant and it's so, it's so beautiful I mean there's time there's there's one specific moment that I remember where I, you're sort of surfing along the sand and it, the camera pans to the side and the sun just shimmers off of all the sand and it's so it's so pretty um, but yeah and there are times uh, uh, oh, one of the other big things is that throughout the game you're sort of guided by these sort of pictograph things. Um, you know, pictographs, hieroglyphs on the on the walls that you, you, know, you unlock and you sort of go into these... It's almost like they're visions and there's this guide that is sort of... There's, again, there's no dialogue so they're not telling you to keep going but that you get the... You, you get, you get the feeling that the, that they they want you to keep going and even that you you need to keep going because in these hieroglyphs you're seeing you're seeing yourself in these in these hieroglyphs or pictographs whatever you want to call them you're seeing yourself in these works of art on these walls and you're wondering i know i was wondering 
because the hieroglyphs are appearing as you're going through the story. They're, it's being completed as you're going through the story. So it's not like there's a whole wall and you're seeing it section by section. It's literally being created as you go through. So you're kind of wondering, as the player, are you seeing this character's journey through these hieroglyphs? Like, are you seeing the hieroglyphs and then it's sort of, these are flashbacks to the story that you're playing the character as you know that you're going through as a character or are you or are you as as you're playing are you you know as the character going through this and actually creating the hieroglyphs as you go through are you making this story you making these hieroglyphs that people will one day see you know however however long or wherever this takes place you know and yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say about it than that. It's it's kind of a hard game to spoil because even if you tried to, the play, you know, you, it's you really have to experience it. It's an amazing game, and it's one of the, it's also one of the few games that I not only didn't mind but actually just loved sitting through the credits. Um, it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's a mesmerizing, spellbinding hypnotic game that really just keeps you hooked and you're not even you're not entirely sure why it's just all these great elements that are blending together perfectly and just and you, you just have this compulsion to just keep going and see what's going to happen it's it's an amazing game that's that is my review for journey uh i i'm really tempted I, I, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's it's a great game. Go play Journey right now. Oh, and it's only like it's only 15 bucks in the PSN, so it's super cheap, well worth the money. Um, and it's also it's a game that one of the few games that and I say this in the best possible way. I say this in complete complete positivity. I don't want to play it again. Simply because for me, and you might want to play it again, but for me, I don't want to play it again because this one journey, like, it was so satisfying that it's, I just feel completely satisfied in every way playing it. And it's just, it's done, you know? And what a great, great feeling. Journey. Play it.